When I started using Outlook 2010, it took me a while, but then I really got used to a feature called the to-do bar. And once I did, I found it hard to live without. When I first loaded Outlook 2013, I was dismayed that initially I didn't find the to-do bar. And then when I did, it had changed enough so that I thought it was actually a bit cumbersome and of little use. I have learned over my many years, though, that when a feature changes in a way that seems irrational, either it's a good thing and there's a reason for it that we just don't understand, or we just need to get over some things. That was the case here. The benefit of the to-do bar was to not have to go into the calendar or task folders while working an email, for example, just to see what had to be done or if we were free on a certain date. The to-do bar has had a little competition in Outlook 2013, and it's called Peaks. And I think they may be even a little bit better. Peaks are one of those little features that we'll probably stumble across and not know what it is and maybe get a little frustrated about it until we figure them out. Then, once we do, we will love them. Let's say that we are in our email, like we are right now, and I'm wondering what I have coming up on my calendar. Well, we know that we can move to the bottom of the folder panel and click to move to the calendar module. But that would actually open the calendar. Then I'd have to click to get back into mail. Watch what happens, though, if I just pause over the icon for the calendar. This gives me a peek. It shows me the current date. I can actually scroll through the little mini calendars, looking at dates in the future or in the past. And if I click on specific dates, I can see anything that happened to be scheduled there. The date, the time, and if I pause over it, I can even see a tooltip that may show me more information. That's pretty cool. And when I'm done taking my peek, all I have to do is move my mouse off of it, and after about a half a second or so, it'll go away. Now, peaks are actually available for the calendar, for people, and for the task list. And now what we may be able to realize is that peaks are very similar to the to-do bar, but we don't have to open and minimize it. They don't take up space on our screen unless we're actively using them, and they actually give us a little more functionality. So. I got over my dismay about the revised to-do bar as soon as I figured out what peaks were and that they were available. I think if you're used to the to-do bar, you'll get used to it too. And if you've never used any of them, you're just going to fall in love with peaks to begin with. They really are a powerful new way of just sneaking a peek at some of our important Outlook data.